What's up everyone, Brian here from Exact IT Solutions. Welcome to another video during Cybersecurity Awareness Month 2020. Today is October 19th, 2020. And uh, before I get into today's content, I wanted to uh, thank everyone for becoming a subscriber to our channel. We just jumped over 200 subscribers uh, over the weekend and uh, we are still going uh, north of that. So thank you very much. And uh, remember, we are still giving away $200, uh, uh, $200 Amazon gift card on the uh, first of the month to celebrate the end of Cybersecurity Awareness Month. So if you are subscribed to our channel as of October 30th, you are in the running. Uh, we will announce the winner on November 1st. And as long as that person is of 18 years of age and in the United States, uh, we will award them that prize. If not, we will move on to the next person and until they meet that criteria, uh, we will not have a winner. So um, without further ado, uh, actually, no, I lied. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you like anything you see here, we don't charge a fee for what we do here on this channel. So please like the video, uh, share it with your friends if you would. Let them know that this channel exists, talks about cybersecurity, talks about how to be more cyber aware and to protect yourself. Um, and today we're going to jump into uh, a cyber attack that happened on a school and a little bit of um, a little bit of an update on the state of where we are at with ransomware and cybersecurity today with I'm going to call them three truths uh, about ransomware and cyber attacks that you need to know. Um, so let's get into the content now. So here we go. Uh, we want to talk about, first off, this article that I was checking out um, on a cyber attack on a Mississippi school that cost them $300,000. So this school, um, a Mississippi school district has voted to pay $300,000 to recover files that were encrypted during a suspected ransomware attack. Now, this is interesting, number one, because I just put out a video last week that said that the US government has said to stop paying the ransom, yet here we go, a government entity um, has voted to pay the ransom. Um, which kind of flies in the face of what the federal government and the FBI are recommending and are asking people to, to not to do. Um, and you, paying the ransom is not a cybersecurity strategy. It is a, um, it is a kind of a move where you wave the white flag and you say, we didn't do cybersecurity well enough, so we need to pay the ransom. And you wave that little white flag and and let people know that you've given up. Um, so a federal investigation was launched after threat actors access Yazoo County School District's information technology system without authorization. The article goes on to say that last week, Yazoo County School District detected a potential cyber event impacting certain devices on our network. We took our IT systems offline to investigate and address National cybersecurity firms were engaged to assist. We also reported this to federal law enforcement. In an abundance of caution, we are deploying advanced cybersecurity tools throughout our environment to ensure devices can be used without issue and allow us to resume normal IT operations as quickly as possible. We are also taking measures to unlock the encrypted files. So uh, basically what they're saying is, is that they are paying $300,000 to get their files back because they need to pay the ransom. Um, I don't believe that the $300,000 also includes cybersecurity tools. I believe the cybersecurity tools are a reactive measure to make sure that they don't have other malware that will immediately infect them after they unencrypt uh, the initial encrypted files. Um, they basically are being told by their cybersecurity experts not to comment further at this time and they will notify any individuals who may have been impacted because of any data breach or anything like that. So this is just another example of another company or firm or organization that was attacked by ransomware 
and affected, and now they're paying criminals $300,000. I did enough videos last week that showed millions and millions of dollars being paid to these criminals, and here we go again where, you know, 300000 is being paid. Um, so let's get into what really the topic of this video is, and that's the three cybersecurity truths that I can tell you uh, about where we are with the state of things here in October of 2020. The first one is, um, and not shocking, we only know about 10% of the cyber, cyber attacks that happen out there. 90% of this stuff goes unreported. It doesn't make it in the news. It, it doesn't get on anyone's radar. Um, yet we hear about it every single day. So I'm only highlighting about maybe two to three percent of the ones that make it public here on this channel. Um, and the, the only ones that make public are about 10 percent of the actual attacks out there. So 90 percent of the attacks that are happening are going under the radar. They're going underreported. They're paying the ransom in almost every single case. So just think about the amount of money that is going into these criminals' pockets by United States businesses who fail to do cybersecurity in the proper way. 80% of Americans believe that their data, eight out of 10 Americans believe that their data is not protected well enough by the companies that they give it to. Eight out of 10. And, and people still continue to give companies data on a daily basis freely. So that, that begs the question, does anybody really care if their data gets stolen? Um, I venture that they will when identity theft becomes more prevalent than it is today and more criminal organizations get their hands on the data that's on the dark web so they can then perpetrate victims and, and make them um, identity theft victims along the way. Um, this is Again, we're at the very tippy tip of the iceberg here with the criminal activity that's going to happen around this stuff. So truth number two, truth number two is simply there is there is absolutely nothing you can do to prevent a or do. A, there's nothing you can do after you've been hit with ransomware. After it's been done, um, there's there's really no recovery method. There's no technical help um to businesses once you get hit with ransomware um, outside of improving your security posture which is a long-term process um, there's nothing anyone can do to help you once ransomware is on your system it uses it, it, the the data is cryptographically locked and you can't unlock it without the software keys that unlock it. It's been built very well. It's been refined over time. And quite frankly, it works very well. It serves the purpose that it was built for. So that's it with truth number two, that once you get ransomware, there's nothing that anybody can do to get it off your system and you're going to end up paying the ransom. So, and, and if, Anybody thinks that backups are going to save them, they won't save your bacon when it comes to a ransomware attack. The data is exfiltrated and stolen now before they launch the ransomware attack. Criminal hackers, uh, because what we're seeing now, and truth number three, is that contemporary cybercrime is no longer dominated by novices. The domination of this space has been taken over by well-funded career criminal enterprises that employ the best strategies to make sure that their victims are unable to recover the ransom and they have to pay. And they are running their businesses very well and they're also running their operations and deploying these things and doing the research that needs to be done so that they can effectively do this to their victims and then charge what they want to charge for for the that data to become unlocked so i hope you got enough information out of this video to understand where things are at today 
These are three truths about ransomware in October 2020 that people need to be aware of and need to know about. Um, so if you liked anything, if you were intrigued by anything, if I enlightened you in any way with this video, I hope you would consider hitting the like button and maybe subscribing to our channel. Um, I'm bringing a video every weekday for Cybersecurity Awareness Month through the month of October. So if there's anything you would like to know about or see, drop them in the comments below. We'd like to take any of your comments or questions and put them in one of our videos. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, giving away that $200 Amazon gift card at the end of the month. And that's it for today, folks. Well, I hope everyone has a great day. And if you're not, try to make it a good one.